Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Chalmers from Energy Fuels. How are you today, Mark? Very good, Tracy. I'm sure, in fact, I'm certain your shareholders absolutely love you right now. I mean, your stock's up over 70% for the year. What are you doing different for many of your other, you know, friends in the resource sector? Yeah. Well, Tracy, I think that uh, we've been telling the story a little differently than in the past. And I think people are realizing that the company has huge optionality in the uranium space, but also in the vanadium space, that we're the only a company in North America and the United States that can produce vanadium uh, from primary uh, ore sources. So uh, we, we think the story is resonating well and we've got a lot of runway left. Well, and speaking of runway, I mean, for some of us, you know, uh, branding energy fuels with vanadium as well is quite intriguing because vanadium is going straight through the roof. Uh, what's happening with vanadium and can you tell the audience a little bit more about how energy fuels is is not only involved in vanadium, you're actually producing? Yeah, well the company assets have a long history of producing vanadium uh, and you're right, uh, vanadium prices have gone from around five, six dollars per pound a few years ago up to like in the mid-twenties right now. Um, we have communicated to the market that we're starting vanadium production in the next, uh, probably the next few weeks, and, and we're being very aggressive in the vanadium market. Uh, we think that that provides an opportunity for investors when, and as our program unfolds, uh, to get exposure in the vanadium market as well as the uranium market. So, you know, we're completely uh, uh, very different from our, our peers because we have this optionality that spreads two metals. Uh, two commodities here, uh, two which um, are, are, are quite uh, can provide quite significant returns to investors. Well, of course, I'm going to ask you the obvious question here, Mark. But is it too late to get in because your stock has enjoyed what we call here in Canada a hockey stick lift this last year? No, it's not. It, look, we're just in the early stages of the hockey stick. Um, I think that when people look at uh, this space, uh, you know, you're, it's not uncommon to get very substantial returns over, uh, you know, uh, several years. Um, so we're in the early stages. This latest pullback in, the, in, in, in equities, particularly in the uranium equities, and uh, uh, provides a buying opportunity. And, and again, as I said earlier, I think that the market is finally realizing the uh, the scope and depth of the assets that we have and the, the uh, um, the real estate that we cover and the readiness that we provide to those wanting to get in both uranium and vanadium. I think investors as well would enjoy reviewing the management and board of directors bios. This is a, a formidable team, Mark. And of course, I see a couple of news releases in the last couple of months here. You've repaid and retired your Wyoming debt. I see here that we have a working capital of $55 million. Can you talk a little bit about management and the experience in the financial industry, please? Yeah, look, um, we know it's important to have a strong balance sheet, particularly in something as volatile as the uranium vanadium. Uh, so we've taken a different uh, uh, approach maybe than in the past. Uh, we did make the Russell uh, 3000, which, which increased our liquidity from about six seven hundred. dollars uh, dollars per day in, in share trades to between four to five million and that gave us uh, um, a, a huge boost uh, from uh, potential investors and particularly institutional investors and that has helped us uh, strengthen our balance sheet and put us in a much better position going forward uh, and we plan to continue with a very strong position we're, we're not going to sail too uh, close to the wind here when it comes to our cash balances and uh, we think uh, we think that, again, we're being rewarded for that strength. Well, speaking of rewarded, I know there are a lot of patriots out there, and you've done a lot of work on the issue of sustainability and uranium. Can you give us an update on your petition? Yeah, the petition is advancing. Um, it was initiated in July. Uh, the comment period has come and gone. Uh, the Department of Commerce is continuing to do its um, evaluation. Uh, they're under a time clock to, to April of uh, 2019, I think it's April 14th, uh, to come up with a, a report and recommendation to the president. Uh, the president has uh, about 90 days uh, after that to make a decision. It could be sooner. We push for expedited review. 
So um, no, it's it, it's advancing. I think it, it it resonates very well with people that the United States consuming about a third of the world's uranium. Uh, it is not acceptable to only be producing one or two percent of our requirements. So uh, we're getting very strong support, and uh, we're really looking forward to that um, uh, progressing. Uh, even though we're not building our company around um, just this petition, we have these other options like the vanadium. Uh, and some of our, our land cleanup and recycling business that uh, uh, puts us in very good position, regardless of the outcome, but we're very positive about our Section 232 petition. Well, we are actually receiving emails uh, requesting additional information from you, Mark, so I'm going to pass one of these questions on to you. Uh, I received a, uh, an email asking me to ask you about the process you're using to recover vanadium dissolved in pond solutions like at your white mesa mill. Can you just comment a little bit more about this? Uh, I think they wanted to know how much you expect to produce from this property and through this specific method. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a very unique force because this vanadium is already in solution in our facility, uh, in our tailings um, uh, holding ponds and our other holding ponds. Uh, so right now we're planning to use existing plant and equipment and just recycling this through the mill, uh, through the solvent extraction circuit and recovering the vanadium. Um, the beauty of it is it was very low capital cost to reinitiate this program. We've been doing a lot of work on the, the, the plant for the last several months to get it ready for a recovery of vanadium. We're going to produce, our plans are around uh, 200, 250,000 pounds a month. And if you look at that um, compared to current vanadium prices that are north of $20 per pound, uh, you can see that that's some pretty substantial revenue uh, that can come back into the company very shortly. Now, I do want to say that we've traditionally recovered vanadium by going out and mining the material, hauling it to the mill and processing it. This first time we've recovered vanadium from our process ponds. So there's a little bit of risk, but not a lot of risk. We, we're very confident this is going to be a very good outcome for us. And uh, it is very unique in the fact that it is on the doorstep in terms of turning into revenue uh, very shortly. Well, Mark, I'll tell you, again, all of your shareholders must be ecstatic with energy fuels. Can you tell us what we might anticipate, say, this fall into the holiday season? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of it's going to be news flow on the vanadium front, um, potentially some news flow on the uh, uh, Section 232 petition front. Um, the company is going to continue uh, to be uh, doing everything it can to be uh, outperforming uh, our, our peers. Uh, that's a big focus for me, uh, and but based on the right reasons, based on the fact that we have more assets and more optionality than our peers, nothing against our peers, but we're in a very unique space here, and and, and watch this space. I've, I've, I've been in this business for over 40 years, and, and, and we're here to deliver. Well, I'll tell you, Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much, Tracy.